This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell you all every day, the day they release us is false. It meant to give us a false narrative of the markets, making me bad trading decisions. Listen, there's been another lawsuit filed against AMC. It's Kevin Barnes versus AMC in the Court of Chantry in Delaware. Um, the docket number is 2023-0718. And, and what, what's the timing of this is absolutely crazy because I just did a, a video earlier today about the lawsuits in Switzerland regarding UBS and Credit Suisse. And I said there are going to be a lot more lawsuits right here in the United States because all the man malfeasance that's been going on with this stock. This lawsuit that Kevin Barnes filed, from what I'm gathering, he's trying to force uh, Adam Aaron and the board to have a shareholders meeting because they're required to do so like every 12 to 13 months, and they haven't done it. And the reason they haven't done it is because they don't want us to vote. Well, that's just my opinion. Once again, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell any stock. But I think that this is a great lawsuit. We need to keep the pressure on Adam Aaron and the board. We need to keep a pressure on keep the pressure on the bad actors. I'm going to tell you something. These lawsuits are just a tip of the iceberg. The lawyers are going to make a lot of money over the next 10 years because of the malfeasance, the fraud and corruption associated with AMC, GME, and the other mem stocks. And the SEC, DTCC, and FINRA, uh, they got to be on notice also because they will be co-defendants in the lawsuits. I've said this before. And there's, there's, in my mind, in my mind, there's no getting around it. There's going to be multiple lawsuits. And I'm not talking about the class action lawsuits because as I told you a long time ago, they are prepared for class action lawsuits. What they are not prepared for is individual investors going after them directly that's gonna eat away at their bottom line and it's gonna drive them crazy anyway please leave some comments tell me what you think do you think that these lawsuits are gonna keep on coming because of the fraud and corruption in the market anyway have a great day god bless and i appreciate y'all on this journey with me